His full name was Ava Pakir Jainuluddin APJ Abdul Kalam. Kalam was born on October 15, 1931 and raised in Ramswaram, in the state of Tamil Nadu. After completing schooling, he attended St. Joseph's College, Tiruchirappalli, from where he graduated in physics in 1954. He moved to Madras in 1955 to study aerospace engineering in Madras Institute of Technology. He narrowly missed achieving his dream of becoming a fighter pilot, as he placed ninth in qualifiers, and only eight positions were available in the IF. After graduating from the Madras Institute of Technology in 1960, Kalam joined the aeronautical development establishment of the Defense Research and Development Organization as a scientist. He worked as a scientist and science administrator, mainly at the Defense Research and Development Organization and Indian Space Research Organization and was intimately involved in India's civilian space program and military missile development efforts. In 1969, Kalam was transferred to the Indian Space Research Organization where he was the project director of India's first satellite launch vehicle 3 which successfully deployed the Rohini satellite in near-Earth orbit in July 1980. Kalam was invited by scientist Roger Ramana to witness the country's first nuclear test Pakran 1, even though he had not participated in its development. Kalam served as the chief scientific advisor to the Prime Minister and the Secretary of the Defense Research and Development Organization from July 1992 to December 1999. The Pakran II nuclear tests were conducted during this period in which he played an intensive political and technological role. Kalam led the Integrated Guided Missile Development Program and played a major part in developing many missiles including Agni, an intermediate-range ballistic missile and Prithvi, the tactical surface-to-surface -surface missile. This is why he was also called the Missile Man of India. As the scientific advisor to the Ministry of Defense and the secretary to the Department of Defense Research and Development, he designed the concept of joint partnership which led to the formation of BrahMos Aerospace between Russia and India and ultimately the BrahMos supersonic cruise missile. Kalam was awarded Padmul Bhushan, Padmavai Bhushan, and Bharat Ratna. Kalam wrote many books including Wings of Fire, India 2020, A Vision for the New Millennium. Kalam was elected President of India in 2002. During his term as President, he was affectionately known as the People's President, saying that signing the Office of Profit Bill was the toughest decision he had taken during his tenure. After leaving office, Kalam became a visiting professor at many institutes like the Indian Institute of Technologies. On the evening of July 27, 2015, Kalam collapsed at around 6.30 p.m. while delivering a lecture on the livable planet Earth at the Indian Institute of Management Shillong. He was rushed to Bethania Hospital in a critical condition and was placed in the intensive care unit, but was confirmed dead of a massive cardiac arrest more than two hours later. Kalam would have turned 84 in October 2015. Here are some inspiring quotes from him. You have to dream before your dreams can come true. Excellence is a continuous process and not an accident. Life is a difficult game. You can win it only by retaining your birthright to be a person. Man needs his difficulties because they are necessary to enjoy success. Look at the sky. We are not alone. The whole universe is friendly to us and conspires only to give the best to those who dream and work. We should not give up and we should not allow the problem to defeat us. To succeed in your mission, you must have single-minded devotion to your goal. Ending this tribute with this quote, Unless India stands up to the world, no one will respect us. In this world, fear has no place. Only strength respects strength. Thanks for watching. Is I am as
INS Vikram Matic is a modified Kiev class aircraft carrier purchased by India from Russia. It entered into 